What? That doesn't make sense. None of those make sense. Yeah, wait. No. Hello. Today, we're going to be looking at this year's Senta Shiken exam and your fully qualified English teacher is going to fail at it again, as I usually do. So, nice to see you, as promised, Center Shiken. This video will be split into two parts, okay? This week, we're doing part one, which is the fill in the gaps section, from questions one to question two. Uh, next episode, we'll be doing the pick the order, the correct order of the words. Um, so, as I said, this video will be two parts. This episode is uh, multiple choice. Uh, fill, fill in the gaps, questions 1 to 10. Next week we'll be doing the put the words in the right order. Okay? Brilliant. So, question number 1. Due to the rain, our performance in the game was blank from perfect. Apart, different, far, free. Um, fairly easy question, I think. Uh, the blank from perfect phrase only has one word that goes with it, and that is three bar. Uh, so, due to the rain, our performance in the game was far from perfect. Just means they played pretty bad, which I can relate to. Uh, question number two. Emergency doors can be found at blank ends of this hallway. Uh, both, each, either, neither. Uh, or, if you're American, either, neither. But... Americans are disgusting. Um, so emergency doors can be found at... The word ends? Plural. So we're looking for something that means plural and both fits in here. Uh, you would say emergency doors can be found at both ends of this hallway. So the answer is one, both. Okie dokie, question number three. My plans for studying abroad depend on blank. I can get a scholarship. That, what, a weather, which. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. Uh, my plans for studying abroad depend on whether I can get a scholarship. So the answer is three. It took me a second. I was looking at it. I couldn't figure it out. But yeah, I think um, sort of medium difficulty. Not very hard, but not very easy either. So, answer three, weather. And uh, question number four. Nordico can speak Swahili and blank can Marco. Also as so that. Uh, fairly easy. I think the answer is three. So can Marco. Uh, so Marco can do this too. Question number five. Uh, oh, we're blasting through this. Maybe I don't need to split it into two parts. We'll see. To say you will go jogging every day is one thing, but to do it is blank. Another, one another, the other, the others. Um, probably quite difficult question, uh, but for me, fairly easy because all of these words have different meanings, but they are very similar. Uh, the answer here is one, uh, but to do it is another. Uh, so you're saying, yeah, you can say you're going to do something, but actually doing it, that's a, that's a different thing. Um, I can say I'm going to run every day, but I never will. I barely get out of bed. Uh, question number six. Our boss is a hard worker, but can be difficult to get blank. Along with, around to, away with, down to. Fairly easy. Phrasal verb. Uh, the answer is one. Along with. It's like, if you get along with somebody, then you're good friends, or um, you at least are happy with each other, you talk to each other. Uh... <laughs> Question number seven. When Ayano came to my house, a blank happened that nobody was at home. It something there what? Huh? When Ayano came to my house 
It oh, happened that nobody was home. Something happened that nobody was home. Then happened that nobody was home. What happened that nobody was home? What? That doesn't make sense. None of those make sense. And no It happened that nobody was uh home? Yeah, wait. No. Well, the other three make no sense. Something happened, there happened, that happened. Oh, sorry, what happened? So the answer has to be number one. Right? It happened that nobody was at home? That sounds weird to me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But maybe that's the answer. I think that is the answer. So I've got to go with it. It's number one. When Iona came to my house, it happened that nobody was at home. That sounds weird, but whatever. <laughs> that is a weird question. Okay. Uh, question number eight. We'll be able to get home on time as blank the roads are blank. Um, as far as the roads are blocked. As far as the roads are clear. As long as the roads are blocked. As long as the roads are clear. Uh, fairly simple. Um, think about B, answer B in this question. Uh, you're trying to get home on time. To do that, you don't want the roads to be blocked with traffic. You want them to be clear. So straight away, you can tell it's either two or four. Um, and then it's just knowing the as blank as structure. And in this sentence, uh, you're talking about a hypothetical or a situation that you want to occur. So the answer here is four. We'll be able to get home on time as long as the roads are clear. Fairly difficult, I think. Quite hard, but not too bad. Uh, not the hardest question I've ever seen. Question above, question number seven. Not even I know. Doesn't none of them make sense. Um, question number nine. I know you said you weren't going to the sports festival, but it is an important event, so please blank it a blank thought. So please give it a first thought. Please give it a second thought. Please take it a first thought. Please take it a second thought. Um, so I think you could probably tell from the fact that I was struggling to read it that only one makes sense here. Um, fairly easy, I think. Quest answer is number two. Give it a second thought. So the full sentence. I know you said you weren't going to the sports festival, but it is an important event. So please give it a second thought. Uh... It means, like, please reconsider your decision. Please think again. Hence, second thought, think again. Yeah. Okay, final question for this part of the uh, sentence again. Question number 10. I didn't recognize blank of the guests, blank the two sitting in the back row. I didn't recognize any of the guests except for the two sitting in the back row. I didn't recognize any of the guests rather than the two sitting in the back row. I didn't recognize either of the guests except for the two sitting in the back row. I didn't recognize either of the guests rather than the two sitting in the back row. God, these questions are hard to read. Okay. Um, I'm not sad. The answer here is I didn't recognize any of the guests except for the two sitting in the back row. Answer number one. But you could use answer number three. Uh, I didn't recognize either of the guests. Makes sense. But then um, that wouldn't make sense with the second half of the sentence. Wait, that's the case. Of, don't worry, ignore that. Right. You can cut that bit out. Thanks. Save the embarrassment. Um, so the answer is... I didn't recognize any of the guests except for the two sitting in the back row. 
Brilliant. So, I think that is all for this part. And in the next part of the episode, we'll be looking at the word order um, questions and... What is this? And Okay, word order questions and structure questions and some very confusing looking things that we'll explore in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching this week and I will see you later. Goodbye.